Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. My name is Linda Fairstein, former prosecutor, and I'm the author of Terminal City, a brand new book. If you go into the city, we came in through uh, Grand Central. It's the sixth largest tourist attraction in the world. It is the second largest tourist attraction in New York, in New York City. So 750,000 people a day go to Grand Central. What I've done sort of self-branding in my series is take some aspect of New York City, usually a famous landmark, a particular place that looks familiar to everybody from the outside, but you scratch the surface and there's kind of a dark underside that's fit for a thriller. And here Grand Central Terminal is 100 years old and I just kept finding myself drawn back to it. But the title Terminal City refers to the fact that when Grand Central was built, uh, the Vanderbilt family bought up so much land. There's more than 50 acres around the terminal in the heart of Manhattan. But also the plan was you could go underground to your hotel, to the Yale Club. That there would be banks and commerce and, and businesses underground, under the streets of Manhattan. Most of the secrets have been revealed in history books. And what's different is now putting them in popular fiction and making them a thriller. And so far the reaction of people going back to the terminal and saying, wow, I never knew that is fun. I went to college to major in English Lit and I had a loving father um, I adored, but he used to say to me, you have nothing to write about, you know, get a career, think of that. And so I really went to law school for the point of developing a career and something I could do. So I spent 30 years in the Manhattan DA's office, 28 of which were devoted to crimes of violence against women and children. In all 16 books, I don't feature a, a case, a high-profile case that I worked on, but I draw heavily from motives in cases that I did or even cases in the newspaper today, and I, a lot of character traits, uh, the camaraderie that my protagonist, Alex Cooper, has with her two detectives and has with the colleagues in her office who really cover her back when she's doing serious work or in a vulnerable position, that comes directly from the work I did. This is one of the rare, I'm sorry to say, but great independent bookstores in the country. There used to be a lot of book interviews and book shows and fiction on uh, major television shows and smaller community ones, uh, and that's basically gone. Yes. I was in that with her. You were? Yes. I was like the mother or something. Yeah. I was always the mother. She I have a lot of friends out here on the island, and uh, I just think it's a, a great bookstore that I would love to keep thriving. So nice to see people come in on a Friday night and talk talk about books. I've just bought a whole stack myself to go home with, and um, it's, you, this community is so lucky to have this kind of independent bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> 